Hello, this is Hiroshi Hayashi, Hamama City, Japan. The, today's story is about a mystery of Statue of Liberty in U USA. In Japan, the Statue of Liberty in the、uh, USA is,、uh, they say, a woman. So we call them Goddess of Liberty in Japanese. But Akatsuki san said, Is he or is she really a woman? And goddess. But his face、uh, or her face looks like the face of Dionysus,、uh, one of the gods in Greek mythology. That's what he said, and,、uh, and that makes me,、uh, gave me a shock,、uh, maybe gave me a great surprise. And he talks about the very strange numbers of seven in、uh, Statue of Liberty, and、uh, they are constructed with the strange numbers of seven. Seven used to be a very important、uh, number for j u r a s s i c i s m or、uh, m i t r a i s m In this video, I, I'm sorry, I don't like to, I, 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 I don't talk about examining、uh, these numbers, but I'll show you a very important number of seven in the end of this video. And he said, The Statue of Liberty was made by these people, three people who are all Freemasonry. They are a member of the Freemason. And he sent me two photographs of、uh, Dionysus and the Statue of Liberty together with this male. These are the photographs、uh, sent by Mr. Akatsuki to me. And the left one is、uh, Dionysus, or Bacchus, is a more well known name in Japan. And the、uh, right one is the Statue of Liberty. And the Statue of Liberty has got a change. In his,、uh, in her, his uh, uh, leg. And this is the Statue of Liberty. So I ask you、uh, whether you, you, see,、uh, you think this is a, a man or a woman. And in Japan, all people believe that this is a woman or a goddess of liberty. We call them in Japanese, Jiu no Megami, which means uh, literally uh, goddess of、uh, liberty. But who says so? And what do you think? He is or she is. But if he looks h、uh, a v e s e e m to have a small breast here, a woman's breast. So people will think that this is a woman. Also, he's got a small breast. Okay?、Oh, she has got a breast here. So easy to say, easy to say, to say that this is a, a statue, a goddess of liberty. But he said, Akatsuki san said, this is, this is a face. This is a, this goes,、uh, Dionysus' face, a Bacchus' face. So I collect my uh, uh, photograph of the Bacchus. And this is、uh, one of the Greek、uh, sculptures, in ancient sculptures. And he, he is Bacchus, Dionysus. And he has got, this statue has got a, a small breast, as you see now. Okay? Please have a look at this、uh, breast. He has got a small breast like a young woman or a young girl. Right? And also, he has got this one. That means this is a man.、Uh, this is Dionysus. And Dionysus has got a small breast like this, just like a young girl. And this is a Statue of Liberty. And also, he's got a small breast like this. Do, so, next mystery is that whether these two men are the same man or not. So, I compare them to each other Dionysus and the Statue of Liberty. Dionysus and Statue of Liberty. Have a look at his eye and mouth. But most important thing is, in these pictures is that hair. Both h a s got the same hair in the same position. You see? This is, this, is, this is hair. And this is hair. Very、uh, exceptionally, man has got such a, such a hair uh, in uh, sculptures in、uh, ancient Greeks. He is Dionysus. 
he is a Bacchus, as Akashiki-san says. That means this is not a woman, this is a man. And according to the Wikipedia, it says such a liberty, and he had, it, had not, it, say, it said nothing about the woman or man. Only Japanese said that this is a woman or a goddess. And according to the Wikipedia, this, uh, this more, uh, such a liberty is based on the model of uh, Marianne in France, but, uh, but such a said has no sex. And also, he's got, it's got a very strange numbers, 111.1 feet and 151.1 feet. And this one feet, point, point 0.1 feet means very important. And do you think this is a woman's face or not? He's a very tough and uh, uh, face, tough chin and uh, tough arm. So, you may ask me, with this man wears a woman's cloud dress? He's got a woman's dress. Why does he wear women's dress? But it's not. In uh, ancient Greece, you can find very few, but uh, very similar clothes like the, uh, the one uh, Statue of Liberty wears. This is, this, this is a sort of example. So uh, Statue of Liberty has got a wear, a wearing a sort of a man's uh, or sort of a ancient Greek clothes. And he said three or uh, three uh, uh, who made this uh, Statue of Liberty were Freemason. And Zeus? Zeus saw a Gaza in ancient uh, Greece. This is uh, Abacus. These are gods and goddess uh, of uh, ancient uh, Greek mythology. And above, above all, there is a man named Mitra, and also, above all, Zoroastrianism, is here. And under this uh, chart, there is an organization called Freemason. Freemason is here. And also, Freemason is here. In all American money, uh, paper money. And why it has it got a torch? Torch, sorry. Torch. This is a torch. This is why this statue has got a torch. Because, because the Rastrism is a sort of a religion uh, that worship fire. This is evidence. The Rastrism. You can see a fire in the middle of this uh, uh, relief and also these are sort of a people who are worship the rationalism even now now ladies and gentlemen this is a sort of a, a religious ceremony for the rationalism but we are also members of the rationalism you are too and I am too we are all Members of Zoroastrianism. Here is the evidence. Of course, you are a member of Zoroastrianism. Now you see who they are. Yes, this is a torch, or these are torches for Olympic Games. Why? Do these people have got torches like this? Yes. This comes from Greece. Greece of ancient Greek mythology. So, we are the member of the Zoroastrian. This is Zarathustra, sort of a top of the Zoroastrianism. And uh, this is the story I give you another secret that I have found myself about the secret number of seven, which is a very important number for the Zoroastrianism and Mithraism. He's got a seven, uh, how can you say this? What do you call, what do you call this one? Seven uh, something. I don't know the name of this, <laughs> but seven, anyway, sorry. 
So, seven is a very important number uh, for ancient Babylonians. And uh, this statue has got uh, many sevens in the anyway, uh, as uh, Akashiki san pointed out. But I will explain it about it later on sometime. And here is an evidence. Of course, we are guided and uh, controlled by aliens. Okay, here is an evidence. Uh, the left one is the Sun, uh, Mercury, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Venus, Mercury, uh, Earth, Mars, uh, uh, sorry, Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. So I uh, put them in, uh, in each place. This is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. And in the middle of this uh, triangle, the Sun comes up here. So I take out again from the Sun, sun. next one is uh, Earth, next one is Mars, and next one is uh, Mercury. Am I wrong? And Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn. These indicate Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. This is a calendar, and in the middle of this uh, chart, you can see a very important star, David Star. This is David Star. Now you see the secret of the David star like this. And now you see the, these people are guided and assisted by aliens. Because who knows the uh, uh, line of the Sun, the sun Mercury, and uh, the Venus, uh, Earth, uh, Mars, um, Jupiter, and Saturn. Only alien knew or knows this fact in those days. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Akatsuki-san, for your information, and I could solve many more mysteries with your mails and photographs. In Japan, we say this is a goddess of liberty, but only Japanese people say that. No one else in the world says this is a uh, uh, goddess of liberty. He is not a woman. Thank you very much for watching, and see you again next time. Bye.